Hello YouTubers. Well, I still don't have my audio going yet, professional audio at least. Uh, I need to learn how to plug my preamp into my Mac, but until then I'll do some lessons that won't... Hey, oh, my telephone's ringing. I'll let it ring. So until then I'll do some lessons that don't really have too much professionalism to them. And we're going to go ahead and uh, finish off the year with All Lang Syne, or Old Lang Syne. Uh, and I'm going to show you, since that's such a simple melody, we've all heard it before, and you'll be singing it tonight. Let's start off with dissecting the chord progression of words. A simple 1, 4, 5. And every song is built off of 1, 4, 5, as we were saying before. So C, F, and G7 in the key of C. So my melody starts on either the 1st, the 3rd, or the 5th. I can hear it starts on the 5th. So back in here, it's going to change to the G. Back to C. And F. Now, I could use this F, but the melody is there, so I'm going to want that next inversion. If you don't know where that is, go back and do some of those play-by-ear in uh, lessons before. Back to one, and five, one, and four, five, one. Or we can go right like that as well. So that's pretty boring that way. Let's try to spice it up a little bit. My first series of substitutions are minors and sevenths. So my C, instead of doing the C twice, I'll use the relative minor, which is A, A minor. And F, its relative minor is D minor. I can also use the D seventh since the melody's not gonna get in the way. If your melody uh, is going to be a flat or third, then you, you're not gonna be able to do a seventh. But if it's that root, the D, that's no problem. So we have C. And instead of C, I can also use a C6. I can even put my thumb at the base on the G, the low, uh, the, the five below the root. And that's my G7, my five chord. Now instead of going back to C, a C7 is going to resolve my four. So the harmony for that seven, that flat seven is a ninth, which makes my G minor also eligible. We don't have to understand that theoretically. We're gonna just get our fingers on it. Now G minor. And then my C ninth, which is a little bit stronger. Now I'm gonna have an F up here. Instead of doing that F, I could use an F six. And that's hard to do because what I'm doing is just like an A minor with my first finger at the 6th fret, pinky at the 5th string, 8th fret. My first finger is also not only hitting the 2nd string, but the 1st string, a uh, fret lower. And then my diminished chord. And I can go up to my E minor and my A minor 7th. That's my D minor with the F for the bass. And then my E 7th with a suspended 4th. So this is E7, but my sus4. So my melody's at the second string. A minor, walk that down, F, and then G7. I can do the sus4 for my root, for my C. So I can play whatever substitutions I want to. finger style to it. If I want to sing it, I can go ahead and use little chunk rhythm chords and um, or transpose it. So anywhere I want to go, I've got these little rhythm chords that are plugged in. And those are basically on the fifth, fourth, third strings or the sixth fourth and third. And I'm going to be covering those little chords at a seminar I'm doing. It'll be a workshop for um, all of the things I'm talking about. Substitution chords and rhythm guitar. That'll be at elderly instruments. So if you want to expound upon this a little bit in person, bring your guitar. Come to Elderly Instruments in East Lansing. That's Saturday the 16th of January. And it's going to be from 12 o'clock to 1 for a free concert. And then 1 to 3 we'll hang around. Uh, call Elderly Instruments, call the store, I'll have the number for you right here. 
and you can go ahead and do that and we'll see you soon and uh, if not we'll talk to you through the year I've got some more lessons I'm gonna be doing as soon as I can figure out how to work my audio so I'll talk to you then and Happy New Year